morning and welcome to day 85 of Peter and Doxy sailing to Queensland. Less sailing at the moment and more Queensland, but uh, here in Tin Camp eh, as I wait for parts for my engine. So, uh, yeah, as uh, I've said many a time, there's a hell of a lot worse places to be. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at these cloud configurations. They're really weird. Um, yeah, worst places in the world to be stuck, that's for sure. Um, I'm just getting my morning coffee together. Um, but yeah, before they go away, I'm just going to uh, share this. Yeah, so uh, these cloud stripes, if you like, keep appearing. And look at these guys, that's amazing. Maybe it doesn't look amazing on video. But yeah, this is big. there's no aircraft. Um, I'm just wondering if this is the, uh, the harp thing at work and, uh, cause that's two stripes that were over us minutes ago. So it's moving along quite quickly up there actually. So, uh, anyway, it's a beautiful day, but yeah, that's just kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Tin Can Bay. There's a nice, well nice, <laughs> there's a bit of a southeasterly at the moment. Uh, with the outgoing tide, it's absolutely perfect because that means my stern is pointing towards the sun, which is where the solar panel is. Happy days. And it's coming into the cabin. Well, sometimes. <laughs> so uh, anyway, coffee pot going on. Yes, this uh, cloud certainly seems to be emanating from the direction of Gympie. It seems to triangulate there. So how do I amuse myself on boat days? Oh, boat days where I've just decided I'm just going to stay on the boat today. So main solar panel, there's also a mini one here. Uh, which is probably just a trickle feed. Um, I thought, well, at the moment I don't have it inside my uh, circuit, so um, having the fun job now of following, the cable goes through that tube at the back, and it is one of those, that's the white one, and that goes right down inside. So I think I have tracked it back. It followed through, through the top, the way it was wired, it was simply just wired directly onto the battery. Um, but obviously the, uh, oh, look at that, my dividers, <laughs> um, which I was using for a job the other day to separate the wires. Anyway, I'm going to reclaim that. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I found the positive wire. Uh, I've pulled that basically back from the battery bay. Um, I'm trying to trace it back now to its black a companion. Um, because what I want to do is basically wire that into the uh, MPBT as well. Um, you know, it might just give me an extra bit of trickle, but it might just be enough. And hey, it's just sitting there going wasted at the moment. Okay, I've got my U-Butte light I got yesterday. It's paying for itself already. Yay. <laughs> okay, so let's just... Ah! Okay, so... Cack handed as usual. Um, right, so, um, this guy down here is the positive that went directly to the battery. Um, I'm going to have to take this panel off basically to see if, um, I can see it probably comes up the top here. Um, but I can't actually moving when I pull or push on it. Um, but I basically want to get to the point where it departs its mate. And uh, no, I suspect it may be this you've got a black and, uh, a, and a red, they separate. One goes that way, and the other one, I assume, goes up to the electrical panel. So, uh, obviously, I want them both to go up that way, so I can attach them to the MPPT. So, uh, let's screw this off and see All what right. we find. Big reveal. More wood. <laughs> Didn't help at all. All right, let's see if we can do some other way. Okay. Partly hate doing, but uh, yeah, looks like that's sticky there. Might have to be removed. I've got tape to stick it back. But um, 
I can see there's a screw over there. That cover may come off. Um, let's hope, because that seems to be where all the wires are going. <laughs> so let's see what we can turn up here. Okay, so I think I've drowned out this uh, <laughs> line of inquiry. So this is the panel here. They basically all disappear behind. Um, I've, un I've loosened off this screw here. And I've also loosened these guys off, which are the only ones I can see. I know there's one here, but that's not going to be doing anything because it's going into the side and it's all one piece. Um, but yeah, what gives the clue basically? It's been glued. So um, not getting in there no how. So I might put all this back together again. See if there's any other angle I can come from. Otherwise, that's not the end of the world because... I would really like to replace the panels anyway, so uh, it would just be a short-term little tiny boost, which, yeah, not doing anything. Okay, screwing it back together. Okay, I'm going to admit defeat on this one, um, simply because it's not worth it. Um, so I've just rolled up the cable, labelled it, put it on the side, out of the way. Um, I'll tidy that up more later. Um, because basically the plan is basically to uh, get a bigger panel overall anyway I think the one I've got there at the moment the big one it's not labeled it hasn't got any markings on it um, but I believe it's 160 watts so um, basically I'm looking for something probably around 300 watts maybe I think my MPPT 100 slash 30 I will double check that probably can take that um, so, yeah, if I can get a bigger solar panel overall, that'll be a much better idea. But, you know, it's on the list. <laughs> I'm not sure what number it is, but it's on there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a coffee break. I think I need one. Yeah, somebody's making use of this uh, southerly to uh, head down. And uh, the tide's about to change. So, yes, good timing. Now, I mentioned this morning about those funny cloud formations. Um, and with those strange clouds, what follows is this. Basically, it's a very thin layer of reasonably high cloud, but it can turn the day really dull. Um, I had the same thing in uh, Iluka. Um, so, yeah, whatever you want to read into that, but they're very strange clouds. Apparently, and I don't know, it's supposed to be some form of cloud seeding, um, which, yeah, a lot of people have been up in arms about, apparently, but it's all swept under the carpet. And, uh, yeah, it gives some people a lot of skin irritations. Anyway, that is what I'm told. Um, interesting if other people have heard similar things. If not, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does, but... <laughs> We won't dwell on it, let's put it that way. Um, the tide is now turning, so the boat is now going back to uh, stern away from the wind, which is fantastic, because it's been a bit chilly. This uh, southerly has got a bit of chill in it, and uh, we should get the sun in the cockpit and no wind. Yay! Yeah, hey. Well, here we are at the end of another day. Um, yeah, it's been about a day of pottering on the boat, some of which you've seen. Um, yeah, so, uh, got to have those days from time to time, don't you? Can't have a party every day. Um, so yeah, I, uh, had the generator out again just before, but I might as well charge up the laptop and a couple of other things, just keep the weight off the, uh, solar at the moment. Um, yeah, the day's turned into a sultry old grey nothing day, so with that strange cloud, which I won't go into any further. Um, yeah, shame really. It's gone very still now. Um, the wind's gone. Um, the sea's quite smooth. So uh, I think that's actually allowing a few of those midges to come in. So <laughs> I'm spraying myself hand around. So whether it's just the, uh, the sort of balmy sort of weather now that the wind stopped or uh, season who knows anyway it is what it is um so yes tomorrow maybe the rubber components for the engine mounts should arrive um i also got notified that by bobs for my navigation lights are there as well so 
Um, at some point, I'll get into the post office, pick all that up. Um, no big rush at the moment because uh, I'm still waiting for the metal components. Um, and they could be some time yet from what I have been told. Um, so I would prefer to have all four new ones in there because I'm not quite sure what shape the aft ones are. And so uh, if the forward ones aren't great, I'm kind of thinking the aft ones won't be much better because if the engine's moved, it's moved. So uh, anyway, we will cross that bridge. Been watching some videos on how to do it, feeling a little bit more comfortable, although I need to get my hands perhaps on a little uh, jack um, so I can do each corner of the engine um, individually. So rather than lifting it up and off the bolts. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll see how that plays out. Um, I think we've got a bit of time yet. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for following along. Um, nothing exciting today, I know, but you know, there are other days we do do exciting things. Well, moderately exciting. Well, you know, for those people that don't get out much, very exciting. Um, okay, I'll stop waffling now. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what to do. If you haven't, subscribe, share, comment, share the love. And this is Dawn Raider. 